All right, the top 10 data analysis advertising tips. This segment, we are going to cover tips number 10 and 9. These are brought to you by Smart Digital Spending. Okay, let's get go ahead and moving forward here. Tip number 10, do not track and measure every single thing out there. Um, I've been guilty of this. You know, the natural instinct is wanting to track and measure everything that you can. Uh, you know, when you're looking at website traffic information, there's a wealth of information out there and wanting to measure every single thing. And when it comes to website analytics, it's almost impossible, you know, especially if you're the online media analyst and you've got to track and measure all the media activity, including website traffic data, social media campaigns like Facebook, you know, Twitter, if you're doing some blogging, and then if you got maybe GRP, uh, you know, in different regions uh, for TV, and then if you got paid search campaign running on different engines as well, then of course if you have a display campaign, rich media, web, and video. Uh, yeah, radio activity, maybe your client is also doing some newspaper, maybe some podcasting. So wanting to track and maintain all this data, um, it, it basically is going to drive you crazy. I mean, too much data can lead to frustration, and, you know, that's tip number 10. Do not track and measure everything. Okay, tip number 9. Maintain a media dashboard, and the reason why you want to do this is to be able to have all the primary data available in one source so that you can access it easily. And then also, um, with all the data there, you can recreate a, uh, a dashboard and distribute it on a monthly basis to uh, the client as well as the media teams, and it gives everybody a holistic view of the campaign. Now, some of the things you can include in the dashboard um, are basic media activity like GRPs, impressions, and clicks, and, and then, of course, the media spend for each activity, and some basic website traffic information, as well as, um, you know, media results which could be newsletter sign-ups or, or orders or conversions or whatever. And uh, I recommend that the dashboard be no more than two pages and maybe six charts on each page there. Some, some you know, again, you don't have to put this, but this is just a recommendation. Um, you can put a trend line of unique visits in there, maybe, maybe a bar chart showing the media spend broken out for each channel, maybe some basic website traffic data. Um, again, the media results, you know, on a monthly basis, the newsletter sign-ups or sales or whatever. Maybe a, a chart that shows the share of voice percentage in the marketplace. And then, uh, you know, if you're tracking brand awareness, you know, the monthly brand awareness results as well. So these two tips have been brought to you by uh, Smart Digital Spinning. Feel free to watch the rest of the videos to look up the, uh, the rest of the tips. Thank you very much.